Good day Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again and we are back to our analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, July 28 to 30 and uh, this English version is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set beginning uh, today, Wednesday until tomorrow, Thursday. We still have the southwest monsoon which is now being enhanced by three new low pressure areas located up to the northeast of the Philippine Islands. And uh, the monsoon will continue to bring on and off rainfall, cloudy skies with winds of up to 60 or 65 kph gust. And uh, there are some patches of uh, severe thunderstorms embedded within the monsoon, but mostly these are all nimbus stratus or low level rain clouds that could bring light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall across the uh, portions of Luzon, particularly the western section. So, so it will be uh, more intense and frequent along the um, western sections of central Luzon, Ilocos region, and now includes uh, the Cagayan Valley, Batanes and Babuing Group Islands, Metro Manila, Cavite, Batangas, and also Mindoro and the Calamian Group of Islands. So uh, in other parts of the uh, affected monsoon areas like Palawan, uh, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, Bicol region, they will enjoy good weather but windy with some passing rain showers or thunderstorms particularly in the morning, afternoon or evening. So these are the effects of the uh, southwest monsoon still prevailing uh, across 80% of the country. Mindanao will be the sole island uh, which will be uh, con uh, having some good weather as of this time. But we are going to show you for the next two weeks the uh, monsoon might have some break, but only the Ilocos region and the Batanes group of islands might be affected by the continuing effects of the uh, Habagat or southwest monsoon through next week. Okay, so uh, we'll give you the latest on that at the end of our presentation. And here comes the two, uh, the, I mean three LPAs, 91W, southeast of Okinawa, and 95W, east of Taiwan. These are all moving towards the east-northeast, embedded along the monsoon trough. And here comes the uh, tropical depression infra, still alive, but becoming a low-pressure area within the next uh, couple of days as it moves and bring lots of rainfall and flooding across the northeastern portions of China. And uh, we have another one here, unnamed LPA, and it's moving also towards the north. By the way, in the Partak can no longer be seen here in our uh, graph set. It's located over northern uh, Hunshu and is um, already uh, just a tropical uh, depression as it moves towards the Sea of Japan and it's likely to dissipate in days to come. So that's the uh, latest uh, people uh, living in low-lying areas and along the uh, coastal areas and uh, fishing and ground areas of the Philippines must take all nursery precautions against uh, big waves from the sea, coastal uh, flooding, as well as uh, possible flash floods and landslide during the event of heavy downpour generated by this monsoon. And outside of part, near the, near the equator, there's no a, any development of a low pressure area except for surface stuff here over the eastern portions of Micronesia and western Marshall Islands. And here's the uh, fast animation. You can clearly see here the movement of the monsoon stuff together with a uh, trio of LPAs. And the southwest monsoon will continue. And here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. As you can see here, Beginning around uh, 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning, uh, the uh, southwest monsoon is still bringing some heavy downpour across the western sections of central zone, Ilocos region, Cagayan Valley, as well as uh, Mindoro, and some patches of rainfall has been passing uh, across the Bicol region as well. But generally, the bulk of the rainfall is along the western seaboards of Luzon, including Mindoro. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, track of INFA, this is the multi tracks of all agencies. There you go. And here comes Nepar track. So this will be the last of the tracks of these two uh, cyclones as we move into Friday. Here's the rainfall accumulation forecast until Friday. As you can see, 
the western sections of uh, Luzon, including Mindoro, Calami and Cuba Islands, and portions of western Visayas will still have some uh, heavy to intense rainfall, uh, particularly the western uh, areas of uh, Ilocos region, central Luzon, and uh, occidental Mindoro. So this is valid until Friday. And if we take a look at the rain and wind forecast from the European model, by tomorrow 8 a.m., still some showers and thunderstorms will be expected across the western sections of Luzon, including Mindoro. And uh, tomorrow uh, evening, the uh, continuing effects of the uh, southwest monsoon will continue across these areas of the country. And on Friday 8 a.m., there could be uh, some still showers, but a little uh, improvement here across western uh, areas of uh, Mindoro and uh, western Luzon. But uh, there are still some thunderstorms that could pass over Batanes and Ilocos region on Friday morning. And on Friday afternoon, uh, you can uh, observe here that the uh, thunderstorms activity generated by the monsoon will continue across various portions of Luzon, including Cagayan Valley, Central Luzon, Metro Manila, and Northwestern Mindoro. So that's the three-day uh, forecast. We will uh, give you the uh, uh, latest uh, forecast for the weekend this Friday. So before we uh, leave you, here's the latest Global Tropics Hazards and Benefits Outlook issued by the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. This is always uh, being issued every Wednesday. So this is a two-week climate forecast that will show you if there is a tropical disturbance uh, approaching the Philippines or there will be a high average rainfall or below average rainfall. So the, the validity of this is up to two weeks. So on the second week, it is much uh, lower confidence okay, or moderate confidence compared to week one, which is beginning today until August 3 next week. As you can see here for week one, August uh, July 28 to August 3, uh, much of the Philippine Islands beginning from Bicol region, Mindoro, Palawan, and uh, Visayas including Mindanao will be uh, uh, going into a below average rainfall which is good news for those uh, being affected by the monsoon rains. Only the coastal areas of Ilocos region and Cagayan Valley will be affected still by the above average rainfall because of the presence of this uh, series of low pressure embedded within the monsoon trough east of Taiwan. So that will be until August 3. So there could be a possible formation of a tropical cyclone here. That's why it's uh, dark maroon. And uh, for the next uh, week or second week, valid August 4 until August 10, the uh, uh, chances of tropical cyclone formation to the east of Taiwan, northeast of the Philippines will remain, but it's only the, the up, uh, around the moderate levels or moderate confidence at 50%. But still, the above average rainfall will persist across extreme northern zone, including Batanes and portions of coastal Ilocos region. And over at, at the Visayas, Bicol region, Metro Manila, southern Tagalog provinces, and Mindoro, there will be a 50% or medium confidence chance of uh, below average rainfall so we will know by next week if this scenario will uh, push through but let's hope that it will so that the uh, uh, fox affected by the monsoon will get a relief since every now and then we are uh, experiencing some uh, monsoon rains but let's hope that the break of the monsoon for the next two weeks will occur since it, this is natural in this world of climate and weather that there will be some daylight or sunshine ahead okay so there you go that's the latest for this wednesday to friday and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for the uh, latest update on our youtube channel as well as we are posting this at our facebook page mr typhoon.com from typhoon 2000 this is mike Pado reporting stay safe always be hashtag weatherwiser be hashtag uh, Typhoon Wiser, uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and thank you so much for watching our channel.